Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo. Now, this is a throwback to its history because Maserati is about performance. But what this car gives you is the best way to get from point A to point B in a very cool looking car that makes you smile the whole way. It has luxury, it has performance, and you get to look really cool driving it. Let's take a closer look at this vehicle. There are three different propulsions, the Modena, which we have here, the Trofeo, which has more power, and the Folgari, which is electric, which we'll do in a separate review. So we're gonna look at the Modena, and we'll talk about the Trofeo so that you have a lot of information. So you wanna stay with us, because we are gonna take this for a test drive, and you will not believe how cool this car is and how much this car makes you smile. The one thing for sure is this vehicle is sleek, it's sexy, and it's aerodynamic. You can see by the muscular fenders, the LED lights, the Maserati insignia just beautifully installed here. Not just the logo, but the name in the headlight. The design of the hood is about aerodynamics. There is different elevations in the hood to make this vehicle just super slippery through the air. I do like this throwback to this original Maserati logo. Although they swapped the V8 engine for a V6, we still need to cool down this power plant. So you'll see this big front grille with this beautiful Maserati logo, which is where they hide all the safety features. And behind that is a shutter. So you can see that it's designed to be more aerodynamic, open when needed, closed when not. Also this low splitter in black, really nice. If you order this vehicle in black, you won't see the splitter but this splitter can be in carbon fiber if you order the Trofeo. There are different trim levels. The base, which is the Modena, which has a lot of power, the higher performance, which is the Trofeo, and the fully electric model, which is called the Folgari. However, we do expect a convertible version coming soon. It would be called the Gran Cabrio. The Trofeo comes with more horsepower and includes unique forged wheels, electronically controlled locking differential, and a racier looking exterior, and the interior design elements as well. The exterior upgrades include carbon fiber accents and a gloss black grille. The construction of the Maserati Gran Turismo is lightweight materials like aluminum and magnesium, as well as high strength steel. A combination, Maserati says, results in a 3,957 pound curb weight which is actually pretty light for a vehicle with this kind of power. Our test vehicle rides on 265 30ZR20s. These are Pirelli P0s. I wouldn't expect anything less than an Italian tire, but these are really sticky tires and great for your track experience. Love these alloy wheels. They really pick up all the space that's in the wheelhouse and big brakes because you're going to need to stop this vehicle because you may want the go power, but you always need the woe power. Our test vehicle is the Modena. The Trofeo would also state that, but I do like the throwback to the historic three vents that you would see on a Maserati. This vehicle really is about showcasing the talents of Maserati. And when you see the Folgari, it looks like it's a gasoline powered car as well, which is really smart because Maserati wants you to know you're driving a special car. This vehicle is not only sleek and sexy and aerodynamic, it is a sports coupe. So yes, you can seat four people. It's a little on the tight side, but it's really designed to be a driver focused car. It is low, it is wide, it is muscular. And I love that about this car. It stands out in the crowd when you park it in the lot and driving this vehicle, I can tell you, it's a head turner. You'll also notice that one of the key markings for Maserati is they love to have their logo all over the vehicle. And here it is again on the side on the arches just to let you know, yeah, it's cool. Every time you walk up to this vehicle, you know it's a Maserati. When you come around to the back of the Gran Turismo, you're gonna see one thing right away. On the back side of this antenna, which is used for satellite radio, there is a camera. And that camera is for the around view camera. It's one of the many cameras around this car. So you can see what's going on around you, which I do appreciate. Nice piece of glass here, which actually we'll talk about that in visibility. Across the back, your beautiful Maserati logo in a brushed aluminum, not chrome, but very classy. And of course, this piece of silver on each side of the LED lights. Gran Turismo is here to let everyone know behind you what you're driving. Further down, you've got dual quads, which I really like. And again, black on the rear valance. This car sounds amazing. Wait till you hear how it sounds. When it comes to seats for the Maserati, Gran Turismo, these beautiful leather bucket seats are 
really nice stitched Maserati logo to remind you every day you get into the vehicle. This has got heated and ventilated seats as well as a heated steering wheel. And it has full adjustability, both driver and passenger side. In addition, the steering wheel is sort of a flat bottom steering wheel, but it is a sport wheel. We'll talk about that in the drive portion. Let's take a look at the second row. This vehicle seats four people. And in the second row, you also have that stitched logo in both headrests. In the second row, you can see there's not a lot of leg room, but if you needed to take someone for a drive, you can see this seat is automatic. Goes back, gives you enough leg room. The seat set for me on 5'8 to give you an idea. So it is kind of tight, but you could sit back here if you needed to. Behind the center console, which continues all the way through, is ventilation as well as two cup holders, two charge ports, USB, USB-C, and there is a pass-through for long items. There is no storage pockets behind the doors, but that's not important. But this Sonus audio system, beautiful speakers here, as well as speakers in the driver and passenger door. One other thing to note is there is a hook behind the seats, great for hanging a purse or a bag, so you don't have to worry about it being all over the floor. Another option is to use the bag fix, which is an item I sell on my website. Speakers in the door, Sonos Favor, beautiful speakers. This is an artisan audio system for sure. If you're an audiophile, you'll want this. And these are the do for opening the doors. They're automatic. There's also an emergency door latch in here, so you have no worries whatsoever. Beautiful carbon fiber as well. This is an option, certainly worth it in my book. In the center of the vehicle, you have this beautiful digital clock that is an, of an analog clock. And when you say, hey, Maserati, could you please repeat that? So basically that's here as well. You've got all of your screen. This is your home screen. This is a 12.2 inch display with an 8.8 .8 inch climate control below. For media, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which are standard. The Sonus Faber 3D surround sound system has 19 speakers, and that is standard with this vehicle. New digital clock. There's also an optional head-up display, which is super impressive. It shows all the navigation right there in front of you, which you typically don't see on such a wide screen. Further down for your navigation, state-of-the-art, easy to use. It shows all of this right here on the head-up display. And of course, it's 79 degrees outside. You can see that it's a little toasty out today. Your device manager. This is your vehicle manager. In your vehicle manager, you not just get your visibility for your surround camera, which shows everything around you, including that Lexus NX, which I'm also reviewing, but it shows you everything you need here. So that's why the camera on the top where the satellite radio antenna is, is a really smart choice. You've got all of your placement right here. And so everything you need is right there as you need it. You can do your mirror, which is dimming here as well. And then you can go into your performance controls, which is really what you want on a vehicle like this. All the technical gauges is right here. Your consumption history, your torque management. You want to take it to the drag track? I don't know if I would personally, but this is more of a, a race car for the track, not for uh, a drag course, but I guess you could. Oil temperature, transmission temperature, your battery voltage is right there. Going further up, you've got the rest of the technical gauges. Here you have the My Car, so you can adjust some of the information, tire pressure, oil pressure, and your driver mode explorer, which I find is to be an interesting button. Comfort, see it shows all the background landscape, shows you where it is, just like the other Maseratis that offer. You can go into the comfort mode, changes all the dynamics for a road going car. And if you really wanna have fun, which is the mode I prefer, you go into the sport mode, changes everything to red, stiffer suspension, more responsive, quicker acceleration. It's not about efficiency and it's not about the electronic controls. It's about having fun. You can go into the settings, change your display mode and information. You can also make a personal profile for each key. Now this is your safety devices. And when it comes to safety for this car, it is standard for the advanced driver features like radar cruise control, lane keeping assist, uh, the Maserati dynamic road view tech, which provides a dynamic 3D image of the surrounding vehicles and your instrument cluster, and of course your digital rear view camera. Our test vehicle has some options on it, which includes the ADAS or the adaptive safety package, which is cruise control, adaptive blind spot, adaptive lane keep assist, drowsy driving and surround view camera. The tech package gives you the head up display for $2,600. 
The additional safety is $4,500. The sport design package for the Modena is $1,800, and that includes the gloss black a window trim, as well as aluminum sport pedals, illuminated door sills, and the Maserati logo. And the high performance audio system, I think is required, $4,000 for that. Carbon uh, macro 12 trim is $2,500. The additional wheels are $3,000. Premium al alarm system, which you do need on a vehicle like this, is $2,000. And those red brake calipers are $1,000. Very, very cool. GT accessories, which includes the first aid kit, is $55. Nice to have it all embossed. And we'll talk about pricing in the end for this vehicle. Additionally, you've got performance pages. Remember, this vehicle is owned by Stellantis. So when you go into the performance pages, you'll have all that technical information you had as well. That's all in the apps. Alexa, device manager, my car, and Android Auto in this particular case. So everything is right here. Below the screen is your shifter, park, reverse, neutral, drive. We also have all the different seat settings are right here. So you have your seats. You can change your ambient colors to whatever you would like. And then beyond that, you've got all of your climate control. You can raise the vehicle up and down. You can also shut that off if that's not what you want. All of this is right here and super easy to use. I really like this carbon fiber, just super nice. Beyond that, you got your wireless charging here. This is for your storage to hide those few little things that you would like. Below this is two cup holders and this is removable. In the glove box, you've got more charging and a place for your key to keep it nicely charged, as well as USB, USB-C, and a place for a radar detector. Going along this beautiful, soft leather dash, it's nicely stitched, is the Italian flag to remind you you're driving an Italian sports car. That beautiful stitching continues on the door with the carbon fiber and the audio system. In front of you, you've got this 12.3 inch center screen that has all the information and gauges and information you would like. Again, this is changeable. You can say, I want to know the speed or I want to know your fuel economy, whatever it might be. You just press the button on the left side of the steering wheel to get what you want, including the safety features. That also can be changed on the left side of the gauges, which is currently we have tire pressure and on the right side as well. And when you rev the engine, you can see it's all digital. Very, very cool. You've got really nice, beautiful shifters that are aluminum, as well as more neural details on the stocks. Your drive modes can be changed right here. You can hear it goes to sport mode, changes the exhaust note, and then GT and comfort. Also changes the information on the left side, depending upon which mode you'd like to be in. Love that exhaust sound. Start stop button is right here on the left side of the steering wheel. I love the aluminum pedals, especially with the Maserati logo on the brake. Really cool. Very nicely done. There is no glass roof, but there are controls on your upper console. Under the hood are two gasoline engine options and there will be the electric option coming. But this vehicle, which is the Modena, has a twin turbo V6 engine with 483 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 time, 3.9 seconds. The Trofeo boosts even more power at 542 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of torque with a zero to 60 time of 3.5 seconds. Both models utilize an eight-speed automatic transmission, standard torque vectoring, and all-wheel drive. The weight distribution is 52-48, front-to-rear weight ratio distribution. The Modena rides on 20-inch front wheels, 21-inch rear wheels, and the Trofeo also adds electronic rear differential. Zero to 60 time in this vehicle, 3.9 seconds. In the sport mode. Oh man, love this exhaust note. Beautiful sound. Love the ride, I've been driving this around and I cannot believe how comfortable the ride is even in the sport mode. It absorbs the roadway but still gives you that firm, grippy stickiness to the road thanks to the Pirelli P0 tires. Handling is spectacular, I have to say. I've gotta go find some of my curvy roads because this vehicle has really too much fun. It's one of those vehicles I get that I don't wanna return. Now driving it in the comfort mode, if you decide to switch drive modes while we're getting to our destination, we'll go to the comfort mode. It becomes a nice, reasonable car to drive. It absorbs everything. 
brings the tone of the exhaust down, which is a shame in my opinion, because in a vehicle like this, I want to drive it. But there are some times you'll have a passenger with you who doesn't like the sportier ride, and therefore you can put it into the comfort mode. That would not be me. There is so much to this Gran Turismo that if you haven't driven one, remember it's been an absence for at least four years, and people have been looking for this car. Now we have this car and I have to tell you if you're thinking about some of the competitors which we'll cover at the end so you want to stay with us you will definitely see the difference and I've driven them all and I, I have to say I really like it in the sport mode oh, I gotta put it back in the sport mode you have a vehicle like this you're not just gonna drive it around like an old lady come on we're gonna enjoy this vehicle I'm a racer and I've been driving these type of cars my whole life and all I can tell you is this car is too much fun. I wish it had a manual transmission. Not needed. We have paddle shifts, which we'll use when we get into the corners. But as far as this vehicle overall, the brakes are fantastic. They'll stop on a dime. I like the size of the steering wheel. Sometimes you get these vehicles and they're just spaghetti string. This is a grippy, masculine, pardon the pun. If you don't like that, you can put it in the comments below. But this is a muscular car that has great grip. And you need that not just in the tires to the roadway, but also for you and the connection to the car. And that is true with anything. In my opinion, I like to see a connection and you get that connection with this leather wrapped steering wheel. It's got a semi flat bottom on it, which I think is also nice. Really loving this. I'm really impressed. I didn't know what to expect until you get into these cars because a lot of times when they redo them, they're okay, but this is a massive improvement. When it comes to cargo space, there's 10.9 cubic feet of storage. Maserati also includes, at least in our test vehicle, a nice emergency kit, which has some of the basic things that you're going to need. Nice little touch. Not every manufacturer does that any longer like they used to. And your owner's manual, which is pretty much like War and Peace. But when you need information, this beautiful book will have everything you need. Underneath this cover is a tire inflation product. There is no spare tire. That would be additional weight, and this is about light weighting this car. Maranello Maserati lent us this 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo, the Modena edition. We will be getting the Trofeo in soon, so that'll be a separate review because they are very similar, yet very different. Price point on this started at 174,000. There is a ton of options on this car. It has the comfort package, the ADAS, the safety package. It also has the 21 inch wheels on the back, the 20 inch wheels on the front, lots of additional options. Our vehicle came in at $198,000. If you wish to load up this vehicle to its maximum, it would be at $206,000. That's actually right in the sweet spot with a lot of their competitors. Remember, this is a true driver's machine. Some of the competitors would be the Corvette Z06, the Porsche 911, the McLaren Arturo, the BMW 8 Series, and the Jaguar F-Type, which we have reviewed. We drove that in Spain from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic. Definitely worth checking that out as well and test driving them all against each other. This vehicle had great performance, beautiful sound, super comfortable. There's only one thing I wish this vehicle had and that is a manual transmission. Is that necessary? No, you have those beautiful paddle shifters. This vehicle has everything that you would want to just make you smile and have a wonderful drive and looking cool along the way. If you're interested in this 2024 Gran Turismo Modena edition, it is available through Maranello Maserati in Buffalo, New York. Give them a call. They'll be happy to put you in this car. If you have any additional questions and comments, I'm sure you do. There's a lot of questions. Put them down in the comments below. If you bought one of these beauties, let us know. If you bought something else, we're kind of curious. Let's start that conversation. Overall, this vehicle has been super impressive. Maserati is bringing back cars that people want to drive not cars that you're forced to drive, and this is certainly a driver's car. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as for the website, the podcast, the book, and our social media. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Share this with your friends because they're going to want one of these for sure. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.